Yeah. yeah. I'm so oh. sorry. Oh, keep going. Oh, keep going. going. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> I get so nervous oh, okay. playing classical. Yeah. I swear, my mom and my boyfriend are the only people that hear me play classical these days. Muscle memory is crazy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you mind is if that, I, that's yeah, totally. Yeah. Is, is that just a song like as a cello player, you just like oh, have to standard. learn? Yeah, yeah, you just have standard, to learn it. For sure. Yeah. yeah. We're here with Yana oh. Cello, <laughs> which I love that your name is Yana Cello. We just did a Thank video you. with accordion mic. No way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you just played a classical tune, but that's not like what you do. No, it's not. Yeah. I love combining classical with like hip hop, RB, Afro beats, old yeah. school. Please welcome classically trained hip hop cellist. Yana. And that's my vibe these days. Yeah. But I grew up classical, like classically trained, trappily raised. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> if someone wants to learn about cello and knows nothing about it, what would be the first song that you play? Probably play Finito by Chief Keith. Like Ooh. the solo I do yeah. to it. <laughs> Every student starts out with tapes, which I see you have. Yeah. Yeah, tapes on their cello, just so they get a good idea of intonation, where the notes are. And then after a while, it's muscle memory. I actually have a really strange, like, relationship with the cello because my first endorsement and the first time I ever went to the NAMM show to, like, perform as an endorsed artist was as a cellist. Oh my, what? And I can't play cello. What? <laughs> How did that happen? Yeah, so I got this purple cello. Yeah. And I played it kind of like slap bass. And I did a little bit of bowing and I did some videos with it. And then the the company, Cecilio, wanted to endorse me. And, oh and, my gosh, yeah. can I hear the slap bass? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> should, I, should I get the purple cello? I haven't used it in quite some time. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got cobwebs on it. Let's see oh, what you okay. can do with it. Should we switch? And no, you can keep your bow. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is the other bow. Hey, everybody. We're going to take a quick break from Chellen to talk about CMA's YouTube channel. So if you like learning about music, and if you've made it this far into the video, I imagine you do, you can go to CMA's YouTube channel and learn all about the behind the scenes of country music. Like their series, The High Notes, that takes you through some of the biggest moments in a country music star's career. Like filming music videos, that one I'm really interested in. I'm all about filming music videos. Infinitely interested in that. So what's it like filming some of the biggest videos in country music? What is it like collaborating with Jelly Roll on a song? I want to know. He just never answers my calls. <laughs> CMA is launching a bunch of great stuff, like in their boots where you can walk a mile in a country music star's shoes, or a CMA intern's shoes who gets to hang out with Dolly Parton. Who doesn't want to hang out yeah, with Dolly Parton? I want to hang out with Dolly Parton. Yeah. And she also doesn't return my calls, but thanks to CMA, I get to see what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> so check out the link in the description to go to the High Notes playlist and subscribe to CMA for more country music action. Let's get back to Chellen. So when's the last time you had those strings changed? Too? I've never had those strings oh, changed. My. Maybe 2012. Well, and I put out an EP with it called the Purple Cello EP. So I'm excited for today to actually learn. How do I play cello properly? I've been doing that. Wait, wait. 
Like I do find it funny that like you're plucking all the way up here. Usually we pluck down here. Just playing guitar on cello. Biggie. Can you do it sideways? Well, you Can mean we like see? like a guitar? <laughs> easier this way. So how do I play cello properly? Let's start with the bow hand. Okay. You're going to make bunny ears. Hold the bow like this. Yeah, with your right hand. <laughs> All the bow hairs. And you yeah. pretty much <laughs> take the two middle fingers, place them down, and you want them kind of weighted, but never any tension. Mm. And your thumb should be bent. So you never want this type of eye. Yeah, because that's, that's want, what I want to do. That is going to be painful after a while. Oh yeah, okay. The rest of your fingers pretty much follow. You never want to have the bow hair just like straight on the string. Place it down, tilt it, and try to look at my hand, my wrist, and my forearm. Mm. Your forearm is going out, your wrist is bending, and your hand is always relaxed, and your bow hair is tilted. Mm. Start like right there and then relax your forearm, like the... Yeah, it's a lot. And now try to lower your shoulder and your forearm even more. Yeah, ooh, yeah, way into it. Mm. Oh my God, so much better already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think about it being weighted and you're just letting it weigh into the strings. Yes. And so that, yes, perfect. Oh okay. my God, that sounds so rich. Yeah, that sounds a lot better than, yeah. than what I was doing earlier, which is just... Yeah, try long bows, the end of the bow to the tip of the bow, but try to keep the same volume the entire time. And you'll feel your shoulder widen, but like you need to use your elbow. Sit up straight. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes. It's sustained, it's sustained. Hey. It's sustained. Hey. <laughs> Having it weighted makes such a difference. Mm -hmm. Never tension, always the natural weight of your body. Keep your fingers curved, never like have flat fingers, which yeah. I don't really see you doing. Yeah, teaching guitar, that's what everyone like first intuitively does. Yeah. But yeah, on guitar, it's always the same like tennis ball. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Your left hand looks great. Thank you. This is my first like bowing lesson, and I'm realizing Ooh, there's a lot actually, that I'm doing wrong. Let's see if there's a difference. Yeah. Because uh, this is Rosin Dub. Oh, yeah. It's a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Immediate improvement. Yeah, how often do you change the bras? I bras in it pretty much like every time I practice, it sounds weaker. Yeah. And you can automatically hear, because the rosin is there to create the friction. It looks like hard candy, but if you do it when it's fresh and put it on your bow, it won't do anything. Use the base of your bow, scratch it a bit. Don't do it over mm. your cello, because it'll get dusty. Yeah. And then you, that's what like activates the magic dust. <laughs> uh, the magic so, yeah. dust. Well, since I'm here, yeah, let me. Yeah, rosin this up for me, yeah. thank you. <laughs> and this yeah. is just horse hair, yeah? I think they also have like synthetic hair, but yeah. as far as I know, it's horse hair. I'm feeling so much more comfortable with the bow now. I don't think anyone has ever told me just to like wait it. And it sounds so much better than what we started. Yes, thank you. <gasps> wait! Hey! <laughs> I really want to do yeah. this. <laughs> that, that's how I want to do it. Yeah. I just have a quarter century of doing this. I feel you. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I love vibrato exercises. Yeah. <laughs> you're going from extreme different points. Yeah. So you're going to go like a wow, wow sound like a. Yeah. You're 
you're doing good on the upper, but try to get the lower literally the extreme. Okay. And try to speed it up a little bit, like. Loosen this mm -hmm. thumb. Okay. And just relax. Yeah. I gotta just relax. And shoulders down. And back straight. Okay. And, <laughs> and breathe. <laughs> yeah. And there you go. Hey. <laughs> I just need to I just need to stop being so tense. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, hey. <laughs> Do you wanna just jam and for a little bit just solo cello? To your electric cello? Yeah. We're both switching electric now. Electric? Yes. Yeah. You know Nuck yeah. if you buck. Nuck if you buck? Okay. I can learn it. Mm -hmm. Three, four. What does knock if you buck mean? Okay, what else should we do? Back that A up. Just following instructions. <laughs> <laughs> and that's back that ass up. You bottom. sound so innocent saying this. Okay. All right. Your cussive skills are really, really good. Thank you. It took me a long time to like. self taught? Yeah, I just got totally obsessed with this thing, you know, when I was a kid. Got to see if I can do Mo Bamba. I learned it recently. Three, four. <laughs> Yes, with the purple, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh hey! So thank you. It doesn't look strained or anything. Cool. Thank you so much for the lesson. <laughs> no, thank you for having me. Where can people find you? Yana Cello on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all of mm -hmm. the internet. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. This was so much fun. And you can subscribe here if you like. I'm sure this isn't the last time we do something like this. And we'll see you soon. Uh, hey, okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>